home survey is becoming more and more popular and a lot of people want to join in but most of them they only have probably one computer so if they delete windows on it or the operating system that they have then they won't be able to run the operating system that needs to make a home server so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to install castle os on windows directly so like this you can use windows as normal so you play your games watch your movies and everything but in the same time create a home server for you so you can you know have your movies have your pictures back up everything and stuff like this so stay tuned because the process is very very easy so the best way to install castle os on windows will be to use wsl or windows subsystem for linux now I'm going to connect to my Windows computer remotely because like this is much easier for me to install and we're going here and we're going to type features and we have turn windows features on and off. Now we're going to wait here and here we have to search for Windows subsystem for Linux. Click yes and click OK. And how you can see is now doing his job and he's trying to install it now this is the easiest way because like this you will install well you can install ubuntu and from ubuntu you can install a uh, casa os and it's much easier to do it and like this you can keep your computer intact and you can still have a computer desktop and everything so how you can see now it requires a restart so we're going to restart now and i'm going to get kicked out because of the with the restart how you can see here going to close it and we're going to wait for the computer to restart and then we're going to come back okay so now that our computer rebooted all we have to do is install ubuntu so we have to go to the microsoft store and here search for ubuntu and you have the ubuntu app just get this one and this will take a little bit depending on your internet connection just leave it alone give it a little bit of time and it will install ubuntu for us and it will literally install it like a terminal which is going to be super easy to use and like this you won't have any problems now my internet speed is pretty fast so how you can see it starts downloading pretty fast but again depending on your internet connection now that is done we open it and here we have to set up ubuntu now how you can see press ctrl c installing this may take a few minutes and you can press any key to install yes and now it's actually starting to download and installing everything that we need for our operating system a name to our ubuntu server so i'm going to name mine acer because acer is the mini pc that i'm installing this one that i have in the windows and i'm going to give it a password so we're going to put a password here we type a password and how you can see password successfully update and here we are we now have ubuntu now all we have to do is just to sudo apt update like this it will update our ubuntu repository and stuff like this and then we have to do an upgrade so we can take all the latest thing and stuff like this now sudo apt upgrade yes so you press y from yes here we will because update is searching for it while upgrade is installing it if that makes any sense in case you never use linux but this is how it works so the idea of why we're making in this way is like this i can keep my windows so i can do my windows stuff and everything but at the same time running a proper home server so i can install castle os on it and you know having like my own home server yes the mini pc will have to turn on, stay on all the time if you want to use the home server but all the home servers they have to keep on the computer so it's fine but like this i won't use access to windows so how i see how i said in the beginning of the video this is a remote desktop that I'm using, so I'm using this computer to, you know, install application, do all kinds of things and stuff like this on it. But now I just reinstall Windows on it after I did some tests with Linux Mint and you know some things. Just reinstall it and I try to make like a home server, but at the same time to keep Windows and has an idea how how everything is working. So we're almost here, and now we'll be able to check if curl is installed so sudo apt install curl this is just in case it's not installed but it is installed now curl is a command that we will need to install castle os now to install castle os all we have to go to on castleos.io this is the website and we have here this link all we have to do is just copy the link and paste it here if you want to paste it just use right click and it will paste automatically 
and press enter and how you can see as always it's now starting now the best thing about it is that if your computer is not powerful enough to to keep both alive at the same time you can always turn off ubuntu so just close this window here and you know casa always will also turn off but then your resources will go back fully to windows so you're safe like this if your power computer is powerful enough you can keep casa always on it and use it as a desktop computer and stuff like that depending what you want and it won't affect you now keep in mind the idea with this one is there's a lot of people who want to run a server but they want to put a vpn but it's really hard to set up the vpn and stuff like this and blah 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 with this one you don't need to set up nothing for example i'm with nordvpn all i have to do is just install nordvpn app and that's it because i'm running windows and ubuntu is running on top of windows so it's running a virtualization made by windows and then ubuntu is running as always on the same virtualization so it's perfect because it's you're taking the home servers uh, features on an easy to use PC that you will have installing application and stuff like this. How you can see, I got this error here. WS detected. We recommend using Docker for Windows. Please get Docker from the. But if you want to uh, if you want to, you know, abort it, press Control uh, C now to abort the script. It will sleep for 20 seconds. I wouldn't abort it, so because I didn't abort it, then it would just continue uninstalling it. And this is only because it's not CasaOS, it's a Docker thing. See how you can see Docker, it's saying that you're using, you know, a virtual machine and it's, it's telling you, listen, there's a Docker application version for Windows. You should get that one. I'm not going to get that one because I need Docker in CasaOS to install my applications. And how you can see, for some reason, it didn't scroll down automatically. It's now starting our process. And voila, we have a server which is on this IP. So we're going to copy it. We're going to open Internet Explorer or whatever browser you're using and we're going to paste it. And here we will have our Casa OS interface. Now with Casa OS, all you have to do is just give it a name, a username and a password, whatever you want. I'm just going to use the same one that I use on Ubuntu. Click save here and voila, we're now in Casa OS. And how you can see, I'm only getting this storage. This is because this is how much I gave to Casa OS. Now, there is a other way to give storage to Casa OS. One, you either give more storage to Ubuntu. Second, you can either just, you know, connect a uh, USB hard drive and stuff like this. Or if you have more USBs, uh, more hard drive in your computer, maybe you're using it as a desktop, just give more space to Ubuntu and that's it. But for me, what I'm going to do is I have multiple servers in the house, right? So if I go here to locations, for example, and I go to new location, all I have to do is just not new location, my apologies. Location, connect to a network. All I have to do is just put SMB slash 192.168.0.132. Now this is because I have more servers. But if you don't have more servers, then just add more space on it and stuff like this and you're ready to go. And how you can see, I have now access to others, the other things from here. So I have my movies and this thing and stuff like this. Now, with Casa OS, the best thing that is, is that you can connect to other servers in the house, other shares, other stuff like this. So if you have like a Synology or another computer, I have an Unray, for example, it will be perfect to use it. Now, from here, it's just normal stuff go to the app store you install whatever application you want and it will just run perfectly without any problems and this is how you install casa os so yeah this is how you install casa os running on windows it's easy to install and it's more useful especially if you have just one computer in the house that computer can become your everything your home server your gaming machine media consumptions whatever you need it to be and like this is much easier to set up especially if you want to set up a vpn on a server it's a little bit more complicated but if you install the vpn directly on windows then you'll have a vpn directly on your casa os server so yeah this is the easy way to install it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'll see you guys in the next one